Then let's switch it up. We're going to talk about a tax surface management and application inventory, why both are must-haves. And my first question for you, what is the difference between ASM and AI, and why are both necessary to a comprehensive AppSec strategy? Good, good question. So an application inventory is really just what it sounds like. It's an inventory of all of your applications. Um, we, they also go by the name of CMDBs. Um, so it's an inventory of all the applications that you've developed or that you run and what they do. So it's understanding um, what have we built, what runs, what exists. That's both internal and external. So it's understanding what's ex that was ex exposed externally that you own as well as what's internal and ideally the interactions between those systems. But at a minimum, just understanding what's built, what's in your inventory of applications you've built. That's very related to, but somewhat different from an attack service management. An attack service management program is going out to the internet and finding all of the entry points into your enterprise. That's a very broad term. So it's looking through DNS records. It's looking through every external resource available on the internet to find all of the assets that you have that are exposed on the internet. And that become, that, that then leads to our attack surface. So we through that process, we understand what's the attack service, or if I'm a hacker and I wanna come do something bad to your company, what's the, what's the surface that I can go after? Those two things should be very closely related. Ideally, in a perfect world, your application inventory would know which applications are external, and your attack surface management reviews would link up directly with those, kind of nice and pretty one-to-one, -one, um, and you would have a nice match system. In reality, that doesn't happen because somebody goes out there, creates a website, uses a credit card to put it up. Now you have something that you don't have in your inventory, but exists and you own it and it's risk. So you really want to have both of those two things. They're very complementary and they are similar in some aspects but it's kind of two sides of the same coin. One's a you know, attack surface management is the outside in view, whereas an application inventory is what you know you've built, which ideally is comprehensive, but will constantly change. So tell me what questions you want a good ASM program to answer. Yeah, so on the application inventory side of it, we wanna be able to ask really business questions. So what is the application? It probably has a name. Um, who built it? What was it built in? Who's the business owner of it? Where does it run? Um, kind of your classic application inventory type questions. Uh, we want to understand the nature of the data. So does it have PCI data? Does it have PII data? Um, we want to understand you know, what's kind of leading into what's the risk of the application inherently because of the nature of the data. Um, so those are the key things you want there is that those business level attributes tied to an, something you've built and it runs somewhere. Um, an attack surface management program, you really want to have something that's very comprehensive and you're going to use a vendor for that almost assuredly, just because the complexity of doing it well is it's extremely complex. Um, but you want to have a vendor that is extremely confident at scouring the internet in lots of different ways, going through DNS records, going through links on websites to find any assets that you have that they could get to. So finding everything you own on the internet or that you've contracted out. You know, maybe you contracted a marketing firm to host something for you. You want to find all of those things. Um, and then ideally, you can link those two together. And that's usually the, the challenge is um, ideally, if your application inventory has like a URL, for example, that says this is, you know, www.acme.com. And I can link that to an external asset that I found through attack surface management. Now I've got a linkage and I can start to see my blind spots. So what did the attack surface management discover? that my application inventory potentially didn't have in it. Maybe I need to go add that. Um, also, the application inventory will have internal assets as well. So again, very related, uh, very complementary things. But those are the two kind of the core things you want to have in those programs. Let's go to the AI, AI program. What questions do you want a good AI program to answer? Yeah, again, it's, it's that it's the, what is available or what's exposed on the outside world. And, and there's lots of ways that people can discover that. Um, it's trying to get a full portfolio of what do I own out on the internet? Um, and then one thing I would add onto that is, what, where are the places where somebody's maybe trying to spoof me? So, you know, I'm acme.com and somebody gets the domain acme1.com or, you know, slightly misspelled acme.com. Um, it's all of those places where someone's maybe trying to look like me. And those would be indicators that maybe there's a phishing attack going on somewhere. Uh, or somebody's trying to do some weird cyber squatting kind of thing. Um, that's the things that a, that a, a, a 
app, you know, we're, the attack surface management versus the app application inventory is going to start to expose. Dennis, final thoughts on this topic. Yeah, I think for folks to keep in mind that um, the two things, attack surface management and application inventory are very related. Both are very important um, and they should be linked together, but they are uniquely different things. An application inventory is that internal view of what you know you own. Um, and you can't understate the importance of that and the value of it to be able to put vulnerabilities in context. So if I say, for example, you have a cross-site scripting vulnerability, that's very bad. But if it's an in internal system that only a few people have access to and it's totally firewalled off, that's not going to be near as bad as a credit card payment system that's exposed on the internet that has SQL injection. So on the surface, the two vulnerabilities are both very bad, but an application inventory gives context. Um, the attack surface management lets you know where your blind spots are. It's going to tell you all those places that there are things on the internet that you didn't know you owned, but you do, and you own the risk of them. So um, both are critical, both are related, um, but again, do different things, but have tremendous value when used together. Words of wisdom from the founder. Tell us, tell us something we can really take away from this and make us understand what's going on. Yeah, I think as as application security experts and you know and and practitioners, we have to remember that we are part of a software development lifecycle for the for the businesses we serve. Um, we're an integral part of something that creates business value that can speed up our companies, can slow them down, that can reduce the risk or increase it. Um, we need to act like it. So we need to be we need to be team members with our develop software development partners, the people that are building applications and companies. Um, and really understand the business they're in, the timing they have, and be a part of it. Don't be separate from it. So uh, being integrated is critical. You know, and everybody talks about shift left, which I agree with, but it's really more than that. It's also understanding, you know, really become part of those teams. Understand why are these applications being built for the business and how can we help? How can we make it better? Um, how can we help them go faster? How can we help them be more secure? So I think with that mindset, sort of that, that mindset of being a, a servant or a ser providing service to those developers, I think it just puts us in a great mindset to serve our businesses we, we work for. Dennis Sirs, we're going to talk about AppSec strategies, strategies, my friends, that drive measurable returns. Thanks so much for coming on Security Guy TV, my friend. And uh, I hope to see you in person next year. Yep, you too. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll all be back in uh, Vegas again next year for Black Hat.